Hello everyone, I am Sammy Bram and I go to the University of Michigan at the College of Engineering and this is my Engineering Honors Capstone presentation on downtime and defect analysis in manufacturing. I will start off by giving my motivation for the project and then define the problem that I set out to solve, give some objectives of my project, and then I'll show you my final solution that I created. So my project motivation. I was inspired after my sophomore year internship at a local manufacturing firm. After working there as a manufacturing engineering intern, I realized how little information they had about the downtime and the success rates of the parts that they produced. Since the firm lacked a lot of the data to tell what was going on within the manufacturing facility, the firm had little insight into what their core sources of waste were. This made it really difficult to implement the Six Sigma methodologies that I had been learning about in some of my IOE courses that I was pretty interested in. After discussions with professionals while looking for other internships for the summer after my junior year, I realized that this was not an isolated problem at the manufacturing plant that I was working at. This leads me to how I define the problem that I'm trying to solve. So I broke the problem into uh, two key parts. The first part is that the efficiency tracking software is usually very expensive. Small manufacturing firms do not have the capital to invest in expensive software such as Oracle or SAP, which leads them to have little information to show uh, how the facility is actually performing. The second part of the problem is that even when manufacturing firms do invest in the efficiency tracking software, the results are pretty hard to interpret. And these software companies throw many different types of graphs at the workers, which might not be very meaningful to them. Um, and they may not be able to understand them completely. This is where my Excel downtime and defect analysis template comes into play. So the template that I've created is something that manufacturing firms could use to input their data that they've collected over a day, week, month, or year to be graphed in a way that displays trends of the data and also analyzes the statistical implications of that data. The template also provides an interpretation of these results and recommendations for the next steps that the firms could proceed with. So that brings me to the final solution. Uh, the template has two different types of data input. The first type of data input relates to the trend analysis, which could be something along the lines of downtime or count per hour or per day. Uh, this kind of data would allow a company to see the raw data and pick up uh, on daily, weekly, monthly, and annual trends. The second type of data input uses a drill-down analysis technique to find the core sources of the defect or waste. This template allows you to enter various categories for sources of waste and then shows you which sources of defects or waste are statistically significant for the manufacturing firm. I will now provide an overview of some of the graphs and inputs that uh, the firm would be able to interact with. So I'll start off with the trend analysis first. So this was analyzing trends over a period of time. This is the type of input that you would that a company would put into the template. So you would just need the date, uh, the hour, which Excel can also pull from whenever the data was inputted, and the runtime and the production count in that hour. Then the template would be able to turn that information into charts. So we could have hour by hour charts that would display hourly trends over a series of days. So you can see that you have the hourly data, but it's broken up by day. You would also, a firm would also be able to use this information to get weekly count charts. Uh, this graph shows over a six month period of time what the weekly count totals were. And it also, all these graphs compare to a target count, which would be set by the company originally. Similarly, this shows over six months what the uh, count, uh, monthly counts are. So similar data to the previous graph, except now uh, grouped by month. P-charts uh, are a way to analyze whether a group of data is in control or out of control. If, a, if the data is considered out of control, then it is an indicator that you may want to use the drill down analysis to be able to find out like what the sources of error are that are causing it to be out of control. Which brings me to the statistical analysis and interpretation. So uh, this is an example of how the initial drill down data would be set up. So you would have the various sources of the defects 
Um, and I just had a couple examples on the bottom, like what different sources would be. Uh, I chose to use the first two just for my example. So the defect category and the operating unit in which the defect occurred. So this would be the outcome of uh, some mock data that I used. So as you can see, the unit didn't seem to have a big effect on it. The unit had pretty similar outcomes depending on like which unit you were in. However, the defect category Pareto chart shows that um, defect category number three was the highest uh, defects or resulted in the highest number of defects out of all of them. Then you can see that the recommendations for next steps are to drill down further into why defect category three results in more defects. So that's where the secondary drill down data is entered. So we would have, I chose defect category three to mean operator mishandling. It could have been anything, but I chose operator mishandling. This is, let's say there were three operators. They wanted to see if there was a statistically significant difference between those three operators in their performance. So this would be the outcome of this second drill down which gives you the ANOVA, ANOVA single factor table and the interval plot. The explanation of each of those results is shown below and the recommendations for next steps also. So this basically, since the p-value is less than uh, 0.05, which was our set alpha, it shows that there is a statistically significant difference. And same with the interval plot, how operator one shows that uh, the 95% confidence interval does not overlap with the other two operators. So that, that would be the key analysis that would be uh, pulled from that, that a company would be able to go forward with and make educated conclusions knowing that the operators were the source of their defects. So moving on to some of the next steps, I plan with this project to continue to refine my template, make sure that it's as robust as I want it to be, that I would be able to bring it to companies, any firm would be able to use it and they would be able to get good results from it. Then given that robust level, I would be able to expand on the analysis, make sure that the uh, recommendations for next steps all linked up with their uh, defect categories that they had. The third step, um, I would pilot test with clients. Maybe I go back to that firm that I worked with after my sophomore year, ask if they would be interested to work with me and uh, really make this a better product. Fourth, I would implement those improvements. And then after, I would just continue to use this cycle until I got a product that hopefully I would be able to package and sell um, to a company. Well, thank you all for taking the time to watch this presentation. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks.